Let's learn how to tune these instruments. I found a website online that could be very helpful. This is a free tuner online. For a while I've been using different apps, some of which cost money, or physical tuners, which are great, but they can cost $20, $30. This app I found online is available to everyone and it's free. You can access it from a Chromebook. I'll link the website in the video here, but I want to point out two important things that you need to know before you start tuning. Number one, the website's going to ask you if you'd give it permission to use your microphone. You'll have to allow this in order for the website to hear the instrument you'd like to tune. I'm going to click allow here and I notice that it doesn't automatically update so once I click allow I'm going to click on tuner on the website here. Now that I've allowed the website's access you'll see that the tuner is now picking up my voice. Let's talk about how to use this tuner. The most important thing is the note that's appearing in the middle here and this little dial. So I'm going to start by just playing my A string. You'll notice that the computer is picking up that the note is indeed an A, but the dial here is slightly to the left. Now, you want the dial to be right in the middle for it to be perfectly in tune. Slightly to the left is indicating that the note is too low, and slightly to the right is indicating that the note is too high. The way that we're going to be tuning is using the fine tuners. The fine tuners are here on a, I have a viola in my hand, they're here on a uh, cello, and uh, bass has, you're actually going to use the regular pegs for bass. There's not much of a problem using fine tuners uh, in it's almost nearly impossible to break a string using fine tuners, so you don't have to be worried about that as long as you avoid using these pegs. So let's talk about, for violin or viola, how we turn the fine tuners and play at the same time. So the way that I want you to do that, it's very important that you have your shoulder rest. If you have your shoulder rest, you can keep it, um, you can hold your instrument up without this hand, which is going to be important for uh, tuning. So go ahead and put your bow on the string and with your other hand, wave at me. All right, so this is the hand that we're going to use for tuning. The way, what you're going to do with this hand is you're going to put it under. You can put it uh, on your stomach and then up and around. You notice it's under my bow hand, and that's where we can access the fine tuners while bowing at the same time. Now, we know that my note is too low, but how do I know whether to go lower or higher? Well, you don't necessarily need to remember because if you go in the wrong direction, it'll get worse. Watch. Well, I'm not going towards the center, so that must be the wrong way. So I'll try the other way. There we go. Now I have a perfectly in tune A. So again, you can just guess on the direction and adjust based on the direction of the dial. If you do want to remember, a good way to think about it is this. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now if you think about an elastic band, if you were to stretch an elastic band very tight and to pluck it, it would make a higher sound. If you loosen the elastic band and pluck it, it would make a very low sound or no sound at all. Well the same is true for our strings. If we're tightening them, we're uh, righty-tighty, if we tighten them they're going to be higher, if we loosen them they're going to be lower. Another way to think about it is when we're really stressed out about something, and like a test that's coming up, our voice gets higher, right? So tension, stress, pulling the string tighter, it's going to make a higher sound, whereas when we're relaxed, our voices are lower and more calm. Same thing with the string. You loosen the string, loosen it up, it's going to be a lower sound. So you do that for the other strings on your instrument. Until your instrument's in tune. Because I'm playing a viola, my lowest string is C, the lowest string on violin would be G. Now the only thing that you want to be careful of is if your note here is indicating a note that is not the actual string. For example, if my A string goes too low, it's going to register as a different note, because the note beneath A is G. For example, on D, if I lower this, it's going to, be, it's going to register as a C. So you see that? So 
you don't want to get a C perfectly in tune, because that's not the right note. That's why this on the tuner is very important, recognizing that both it's in the center, but it's also in the center on the note that it's supposed to be. So if I'm C, I'm going to have to go up a lot to get to that D string. Same thing with here. There I go. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this on a cello. Just the way that we hold the instrument is a bit different when we're tuning. All right. On a cello, same idea. We're going to be bowing and turning the fine tuners at the same time. So you're going to want to get a position where you can put your bow on the string and also reach down at the same time. The way that I like to do that, make sure your end pin is not too far out. The way that I like to do that is by reaching over my, my bow arm like this, reaching over the bow arm. And again, I'm bowing and turning at the same time. Let's try the A string. And you can go either direction. You notice it getting worse, you go in the opposite direction. And one thing you want to make sure to do is do nice, long, smooth bows. Don't do short bows, and even plucking is not going to pick up the sound super well. So I encourage you to use slow, long bows when you're tuning in this way. All right, now you have all you need to tune your own instruments. And don't worry again about using the fine tuners. There's no danger of breaking any strings with the fine tuners. We'll maybe learn how to use these another day.